Hello guys, my name is Kevin Granados. I'm a freestyle footballer from New York City. You can follow me at Good Kid Freestyle. Freestyle, uh, I would say freestyle is a sport, an art, where you just you know have fun with a ball, just way to express yourself. It's just something you do when when you have like time, you meet up with friends, you freestyle together. For me, freestyle has just always been a way to to just spend time with a ball and express myself. What makes freestyle unique? I would say, um, one, the community. Um, you got a lot of people trying to help you. You meet a lot of strangers through freestyle, but they instantly become your friends, and you know it's, it's pretty cool to share uh, a unique trait with someone else across the world. I think the community just separates a lot from different sports that uh, really emphasize uh, competition and stuff like that. Freestyle is completely the opposite. When I first started out, um, I would say I was around like 11 years old around the time. I was uh, first a, a soccer player, so I would look up favorite skills. My favorite player at the time was Ronaldinho, so I would look up skills, videos from him, like highlight stuff. And then I came across a video of him doing freestyle tricks, and slowly I started getting recommended videos on YouTube of other guys doing it, like Sufani Tuzani, and, and Sean Garnier. The first freestyler I ever contacted was a kid from YouTube. I don't think he freestyles anymore, but his name was Chum Choyo. All right guys, so when you're freestyling, it's really important that you know how to juggle the correct way. And he did a lot of tutorials on how to freestyle and stuff, and he was around my age. He was one of the first freestylers that inspired me, but he featured some freestylers around the world, like Alex Mendoza, because he was from Cali. And then he also uh, featured Tom Follin on his channel, which was pretty cool. So from then, I just started getting more into freestyle and realizing that it was like a culture that people took part of. Um, to this day, I, I look up to them in terms of their style and, and the way they, they push the sport. Uh, I would say my first move is the crossover. I did that, I think I was 11 years old. I think it was like an Easter one day and, and I landed the crossover in my backyard and it was so awful because I, I did the trick, I got like two touches on it and then the third touch kicked against my neighbor's house and stuff. Other than that, I was like really happy. I couldn't do it again, but I think it was a day I, I'd never forget. For me, competitive side is, is not really what uh, my goal is at the end of the day, my goal is to you know create my own style, develop an environment where uh, freestylers can come, and I want to just keep pushing the sport to where you know someone who does find freestyle can find other freestylers. That's just my my goal is just to keep going the community and also have fun with it too. I feel like in um, 10 years, you know, there could be possibly a league, possibly a way for uh, freestylers to, to earn money in, in a coherent system. I see it being like the next cultural thing since soccer is a global sport. I think freestyle can not only be associated with it, but has its own identity and bring in a lot of other influences from other subcultures and whatnot. So uh, I see big things happening in 10 years.